Alright, right, everybody, Wayne from Marrow Beer, Thornton Bay. I was on Facebook last night and I couldn't help but notice all the thread fin and the dew that are being caught at the moment. So I thought while I'm stuck in the shed, stuck inside, can't go fishing, I'll do another thread fin video, a bit of a how to type video, and uh, show you guys what I do anyway. There's a million different ways to go and catch thread fin, there's a million different ways to go and catch dew. This is just my way. Things we're going to cover today is gear gear selection we'll go through the gear that i use and the setup i use we're going to cover location how to pick a spot um, i always make sure i use a sounder so hopefully you've got a sounder but that's the way we'll, we'll cover that uh, we're going to cover some maps we're going to have a look on google google the aerial view of the, uh, the locations around the brisbane river and show you on maps how to select a spot uh, we're going to go through boat setup how to set your rods up on the boat we're going to talk oh, of course we're going to talk about well, we're going to have a, have a look at some raw footage, catching some big dew and some big threadies all over a meter. Anyway, that's all coming up, so shall we begin? Okay, a little bit about gear. Firstly, when you're bait fishing, I always fish with live bait, I don't fish with dead bait. So you go out with cast net and catch, catch your live bait. Um, that'll be either herring, and in the summertime, you'll get prawns. The setup for live baiting. I use a, a four or five thousand stratic. Um, you can go smaller but you really need the line and my line on here is 20 pound moi moi. So I've got a 20 pound moi moi mono. My leader is a 36 pound or 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. The leader is only a meter long so that's all you need. It's just a meter and you have either an eight ball or a ten ball sinker depending on the current and what you're doing is a, a method called tea bagging. So you literally set up your rods so they go straight down, straight underneath your boat, and uh, and just sit there and wait. So you put on the weight that's required to get you straight down. When you go straight down, you'll feel it hit the bottom. That'll be the sinker hitting the bottom. When the sinker hits the bottom, you wind it up. You've got a meter of trace, remember. You wind it up that meter, plus just a shade, and you, then you've got your live bait swimming around. You can swim up to two meters, right down to the bottom, and he'll stay in that area and that's where you want to be to catch thread fin and your dew. The hooks I use, I personally use the mustard 6 O's. These are mustard beaks. Um, they're, they're just a, an incredibly good suicide hook. I, uh, I really like these ones and that's all I use. Now when you're fishing for thread fin, thread fin don't release real well. They do, they can release you if you want to be really persistent but you're allowed a bag limit of two. I really love eating thread fin, so I'll keep one or two, and if I catch two, I don't fish anymore from. That's it, I'll stop. So I use these, I don't mind gut hooking. Um, thread fin got a very raspy mouth, so you may get bitten off a few times with these, um, but you'll hook up with these. Now, vibes. Vibes are a very, very good way to catch thread fin. You'll see here, these vibes look dusty and dirty. That's because I use a, um, a powder through my uh, talcum powder through my hooks. You'll see talcum powder on absolutely everything, except obviously in the oil. But uh, talcum powder on everything stops your hooks rusting, doesn't affect the fishing at all. And um, so I put talcum powder on absolutely everything. When I get down to the where I'm fishing, dunk them in the salt water, give them a bit of a wipe, throw a bit of S Factor on it, they're brand new again. So the vibes, they'll work really well, but you fish the vibes very similar to the way you, you tea bag with live bait. Send this to the bottom. And literally when you feel it hit the bottom, little jigs off the bottom, let it get back to the bottom, little jigs off the bottom, and then you drift down the line that you want to drift on, doing exactly that. Also use long curly tail grubs. The dew and the threadies love them. When you're using these, I always use a half ounce to a, uh, a 5 8 jig head. The reason I use a fairly heavy jig head, you're fishing in between 10 and 15 metres of water and you do want to get down to the bottom. If you're not getting on the bottom, you really reduce the chances of you catching a threadfin or a jew. So you hook that up. These here I keep in tuna roll. You see here, this is the tuna roll. So these here dry out really, really quickly. So when you open a bag, you leave one out even for just a half a day and it won't be usable. You can see here, you throw them in a bottle of tuna oil and they're good forever. I don't know whether I favour the vibes over these or, or not, but uh, these seem to catch everything. These will also catch a snapper too when they swim past. Ah, one more thing. When you're teabagging, how do you set your drag? 
That's a fairly important thing. So you got it going straight down. You might be sitting there an hour before you get a strike. You might be sitting there two hours before you get a strike. Have a cup of tea. But anyway, how do you set your drag? Okay, really important that when you're teabagging, you have a fairly light drag. You want that fish to be able to run without feeling any weight. So you'll hear it scream off. Give it a few seconds, probably three to five seconds. And when you know that it's, it's definitely on the hook and it's got it in its mouth, tighten the drag up just a weeny bit, strike the fish, and then adjust your drag to suit what you need to get the fish in. But you don't need a heavy drag on, on dew and threadies. Dew will go hard and they'll run fairly fast for a long way on the first run. Thread fin, in my experience, seem to run, stop, and run again. So that first run might only be two to three seconds long, and then they'll stop. Now I'm not sure what they're doing there, probably mouthing the bait and swallowing it, and then they'll take off again. It's on that second run I like to lay into the jerk into the thread fin. Boat set up. Right, then Stig and I are out fishing. We, uh, there's two on the boat, so that means we can have six rods. We'll have two at the back, two in the middle, and two at the front. So the back being where the motor is, they'll be the, uh, the lighter sinker, so a six ball at the back. And they'll drift away from the boat, behind the boat. We'll have two in the centre, probably around the eight ball, so they're under the boat. And the two at the front will have ten balls on them, so they go almost straight down. That way the spread stays away from each other, and we're less likely to get tangles. We use the electric to position the boat right on the 15 meter line. So find some structure, find where the 15 meter line banks up 10 meters, and that's exactly where you want your boat. We'll talk about the Brisbane River. Now in Catch Redfin, Brisbane River, the Pine River, Caboolture River, all the rivers around here hold Threadfin. Dew as well, to a lesser extent, but uh, definitely Threadfin. I like fishing the mouth of Brisbane for Threadfin. Uh, you'll see on the map here, as we close in the mouth from, I, I fear, from, the, from the, uh, the Gateway Bridge right up to the, the mouth of the, the, the river. Um, and it all works well for me. You can see on this map, map this is right at the mouth. Um, the areas that I like fishing are the areas that change in depth. So you've got a, a, a 2 metre ledge down to a 10 metre ledge down to a 15 metre ledge. Well what I try and do is get my electric running along the line of the 15 meter ledge where it meets the actual bank that banks up to the the 10 meter ledge so if i'm vibing i'll just follow that ledge all the way down just up and down with my vibe up and down with my vibe if i'm bait fishing if i'm live bait fishing well i'll uh, anchor with my electric in a particular spot where i know the current's good i know there's a bit of structure around and i know that that bank has just touched the 15 meter line so that's where i'll tee bait with live bait for thrift and, and for dew. Do. The next map here, we're just moving in on luggage point. Luggage point's where you'll get your live bait. Everybody knows that. So just go down to the, um, the shit chute and throw your cast net down there. Hopefully you'll pick up a few prawns and a few herring. <laughs> close on this one now, I think. Oh, maybe not. Starting to puff out a bit though, I think. Beautiful night, bugger a win, four knots, we've got the trawler going past us at the moment. In the mouth of the Brisbane River, sitting in 15 metres of water, not a breath of air, it's just absolutely friggin' beautiful. He really doesn't want to come back to the boat. Here it comes. It'll be over a metre. Got excited on that first run, it didn't run like a thready. Threddy's not normally run and stop straight away. It kept running for a while. Is that a thready or a jew? What the jew? A big jew. Yes. Yeah.